pull a couple of unlucky moments today. Does that sum up the season so far? Yeah, listen, we um, goals change games, and we had seven, seven clear cut chances in that first half. Uh, not to take any of those seven and then give away the goal that we gave away. Back pass on a bumpy pitch from Alfie. Obviously, ball rolls over Ross's foot. Massive error uh, for the first goal. Uh, for the second half was much more even, but the first half we dominated, and it should have been five or six. Uh, second half, again, Billy Clifford gets wrapped round the neck, running back through from midfield. Referee doesn't give it, Linesman doesn't give it. They go on and score a second goal. We then go and get ourselves back in the game. Uh, and we had half an hour at that point to, to go and get something out of this game. And then we have a, another ridiculous error uh, at the back. So, it, it, you know, pretty much if anything in football, you've got to score the chances when you get them. And you've got to make sure that you don't give away stupid errors. And we've made two stupid errors and a, a referee's error for the second goal. Um, but hugely, you know, hugely disappointing. But very, very positive that first half. It's the best we played for some time. Created loads of chances. Looked good. Looked really sharp as well. So again, you just got to wait for it to turn. Is it just a case of luck to not score those chances? No, it's not luck, is it? I mean, you pay to you pay to score goals. You pay you pay to actually defend. You pay to keep them out of the goal. And both of those scenarios today, um, you know, if, if you look at the game, you'll see us on your highlights, no doubt, see the chances. And you can't miss from three and four yards out. You know, after three or four times. So you think it was the second goal that killed it mainly? Well, that puts you 2-0 down. And as I said, it was clear. It's a clear, clear foul. We, their player stopped, right? Our player stopped and the referee played on. But no, we got ourselves back in the game. It was the third goal that killed us because it wasn't the second because we got the goal back. But the third goal, again, ridiculous error on our part. They gifted them a third goal and then, you know, you're up against it. But we still had Alfie, you know, Alfie Whittingham, eight yards out. Great move. You know, he's got a score, 3-2 with another 15 minutes to go and you're back in the game. So we reflect on loads of missed chances and two just ridiculous errors you won't see again in a, in, in a game. Good to see Payne on the score sheet. If we've been winning or drawing, yeah. I mean, listen, it's, it's hard as a manager to take too much away from a defeat when you've just lost three on the bounce. Um, but as I said, there was lots of positive stuff in the first half. Um, and we just, as I said, just got to keep going and going and get ourselves out of the run. But, you know, the longer you say it, you know, the more it hurts. So it's a case of just scoring those final chances to finally get that win? Listen, we made loads of chances against Dartford second half. Loads of chances. Didn't take any of them. We've made seven in that first half today. Anyone who was there first half. And I've got to say thanks to the 40 or 50 that, that, that came today. Brilliant support. Not an easy place to come to. Fantastic reception for the players at the end. They know that the players played well today. They know they gave it everything. But football's a, a cruel game at times. You know, I use the analogy 90% of it's rubbish and 10% of it's good. And we're right in that spell of 90%. But we just got to keep working hard and we'll be in Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, to get ready for another tough one against Epsley. Thanks, Paul. See you next week.